Hi everybody, thanks for watching another video. There was uh, a few questions from the last video about the, our Angus calves, crossbred calves, that I uh, wanted to make a quick video about. I'm in our heifer barn here again by the, the Angus calves. The, the first question was, uh, uh, someone had asked if these would make good uh, uh, beef cows or bulls for uh, somebody that would have a, a herd of uh, beef cattle. And from what I'm told, they're, they're, uh, the embryos are out of uh, commercial cows, but they're bred to really good sires. They wouldn't be registered cattle, but they should be really good cattle in comparison to uh, the rest of the Angus breed, is what I, from what I'm told. The next question was uh, someone had asked if it's profitable to raise these to uh, four or five months and sell them at that point because the, especially the first two months, two to three months, that's the really the most uh, uh, labor intensive, the most time consuming uh, as far as uh, raising these calves. And that's yeah, kind of what we're trying to figure out ourselves, I guess. Uh, the, at four or five, six-ish months old, that's typically when the price per pound is highest also. And we're really trying to get to about 500 pounds because at that point they can go into uh, uh, like a feedlot or uh, into a similar uh, feeding situation that uh, other beef cattle or beef calves would be going into. So that's, uh, that's why we're trying to raise them to that point and sell them at that point. We're, we're trying to figure that out for ourselves if, uh, if uh, yeah, the, the price that we're getting paid for these calves at that point is enough to justify the costs and if it's really worth our time. Uh, long term, we don't have enough space to, if we, if we were to try to raise all of our crossbred calves and beef calves, we don't have near the space to do that. Maybe something for the distant future, but we have no plans to, to do that at this point. Uh, we're doing it with the, the Angus just because we're kind of curious ourselves how these calves would turn out, what they'd look like, uh, how they do in comparison to Holsteins and what it uh, costs or what it takes to raise them to that age and if it's profitable to raise them to that age. The next question that somebody had uh, asked about uh, conception rate what uh, conception rate are we getting on the uh, embryo transfer. So uh, we're, we're around 35-36% on the embryos, which is about 10% lower than we are on semen or sex semen. So we'd really like to get closer to the to where we are on sex semen. It's, uh, I'm told we should be able to do that, but yeah, like, like I had mentioned, it does take quite a bit of practice. Uh, placing embryos it's a lot more difficult than it is just breeding uh, cows with this uh, with sex semen or conventional semen really my goal personally would be for our, our herd guys to be able to hit 40% uh, they're they're definitely I mean especially if Renny is really experienced with uh, breeding and he takes uh, reproduction very serious he really likes to do a good job, and I, I think he probably can get there. But it, I mean, it's, it, it takes some time. You need to really know where to place the embryo. Those were the few questions I wanted to, to address in this video. Where uh, somebody had uh, mentioned in the comments a couple videos ago that if you get, uh, if you get snow on, uh, on Easter then you get precipitation for six Sundays afterwards or it was something along those lines and we're, we've had precipitation here the last two Sundays or Saturday now but we're, it looks like it's going to rain through the night into tomorrow morning and there's a chance of rain again next Sunday so so far that's holding true we'll see if we make six Sundays straight I don't know if we will but it's kind of interesting uh, appreciate you guys watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video